Hello, welcome to IBC 2023 day four live show, VMIX Fun Time live show. That's right. Yeah. That's what it is. That's exactly what we, it we've is. We've worked it out. We're here sitting in our booth on the edge of the booth with thousands of people here at the Rye Amsterdam Convention Center cheering, as you can hear, as I'm sure, deafening <laughs> applause from the crowd All here. All six people. Yeah so, we are, yeah, so we're here at IBC doing the VMIX Fun Time live show. And as we all know, it's all very dangerous to be doing these types of things uh, at a trade show with very limited internet and um, a lot of moving parts, shall we say. But if anyone can do it, vMix might be able to. Yeah, not us, but maybe the software can. So yeah, That's right, that's right. So let's have a look at the show setup. Let's do that. Producer, take it away. Uh, okay, so the producer today is a special guest, uh, Martin. And we're running a Sony PXW X70 camera. A nice old one that we've used on the booth in the past. We found uh, it in a bag, so got, we hope it works. We've got some Insta360 links floating around, so we might bring one of them into the show, who knows. We've got an Everett PTZ camera, that's a full NDI camera from them. It's the ENV220. Uh, we've got a wireless Rode Go, nearly got it. Road Wireless Go 2 mics, yep. and uh, we're running the show using an Elgato Stream Deck Plus. That's going into an MSI Katana 15. It's an i7. It's got a 4060 in it, and the reason for that is we are streaming out in AV1, everyone. Woo! We yeah. did it. So Everybody. you need a you need a 4000 series RTX graphics card in order to stream in AV1. So that's what we're doing. There we go. That's our setup. So yeah. it's all very exciting. A lot of this equipment um, was sitting in a storage shed for a number of years, uh, except for the new laptop, which we bought at Cool Blue. And we thankfully uh, were able to borrow an Everett camera. So thanks to the people at Everett for letting us borrow that camera for the few days of the trade show. Mm. We and also got our hands on a Lumens one. That's it's a right. 4K full NDI as well. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's a huge, it's like it's a, a monster. We can't actually see it. I'm staring at it, <laughs> but I can describe it with words. Uh, it's a quite a large PTZ camera, 4K, uh, large barrel. It's it's quite hefty for a PTZ camera. It weighs a lot. I would say, yeah. That looks very cool sitting on our shelf up here. Um, all right, so some of the cool things that I've been up to. Uh, let's start with the most important one. Uh, the IBC 2023 shoe review. I am here with Woodstock from Obspot and hey guys. we've got the Tail Air which is their brand new product but a very important question, how are your feet feeling? Shoe review, did you make the right choice? Uh, yeah, maybe not. I will <laughs> wear, wear <laughs> uh, maybe an, an uh, old shoes <laughs> for, for the nice yes, show. Yes, something yeah. a bit more, a bit more cushy, a bit more squishy, maybe. Yeah, be more like sporting. <laughs> <laughs> Here with John from Zixi, and the big question is shoe review. How are your feet going? First two days, I made a drastic mistake. Wore dress shoes. Very, very painful. Yeah. Today, Today, I wore. Hey, look at those bad look boys. And Some I Nikes. Finally comfortable. Very comfortable. Won't well make done. that mistake again. Yannick? Yeah. Shoe yeah. review. How are your shoes going? Oh, uh, they're well. Are your feet really hurting yet? Uh, no, it's okay. No, no, no. What, what have you got today? It looks like there's some Brooks. Yes, there is some Brooks. Yeah, nice. In VMix Orange. In VMix Orange. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Maggie from X Keys. Shoe review. How are your feet going? You know, they're all right. Yeah. I'm wearing some New Balance what do you today. Got? I have on some New Balance 430s. Uh, this is nice. not my first trade show. No, I have learned the first hard video. way. And I'm here with Petra and doing the shoe review for 2023. Okay. Um, and how are your feet feeling? Well, look at them. They're so, open. They're open. Oh, okay. Is that, is that for comfort? Oh, uh, yeah. Is I'm, that I'm for hurt, I'm <laughs> Oh my god. Let me go. I'm here with Marie. <laughs> Down here with Marie. <laughs> and how are your shoes going? Shoe review? How are your feet feeling? Shoes are fine, feet are fine. Okay, what are you using? 
I'm using some sketches. Sketches, good choice. Famously comfortable. Nice. Yeah. TJ, uh, how are your feet feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. Hi. Huh? Yeah. So shoe review. I I wear. What do you got? I am wearing the most space age, oh. like American Crocs innovation that ever existed uh, in the world. Yeah. Are they? And are they, they? And I feel like I'm walking on a cloud. <laughs> All right, there you have it. No shame. All right. I am here with Silas from Scarhoy, and I have one question for you. Yeah. How are your feet feeling after a few days of show? Are well, they sore? Yeah, and actually my shoes is completely broken. They're they, broken? Yeah, they, yeah they, <laughs> they're broken. So that, that's how it is to be in trade shoe. I'm feeling like cutting off my leg. So shoe review, out of 10, what would you give it? Well, one. <laughs> All right, thank you. So wasn't that amazing? That that was a fine, fine segment, right? It's quality. I had nothing quality. to do with that whatsoever. So, so most in question, important question for you, Tim, is mm. what are you wearing? Shoe review 2023. Oh, um... What do you got? Oh. <laughs> uh, there we go. Well done. Oh, that's going to hurt yeah. tomorrow. Oh, uh, good I've got, grip. i got a pair of Saucony Endorphin Speed 2s. How are they going? They're, they're actually pretty good. They're how, my, they're how my daily trainers. Um, I'd give them a good 8 out of 10 for trade show stuff. Yeah, good. The, the Speed 2s did have a bit of a narrow heel on yep. them, yep. but um, yep. it's not too bad standing around. They're very comfortable. So Very good. Very good. Okay. So you're welcome. What a, what a great segment that was. Uh, yeah, five minutes of quality. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So um, for those that are curious about the speed bowling situation, we went speed bowling last night and uh, just wanted to make note of who got the high score, oh. and uh, that would be me. So wow. I don't know what the other lanes did. I know that they were not quite as high as that, but uh, that's, uh, that's 176. You know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a great uh, effort from me. I tried my oh, best. Right, but, okay. Um, you All know, right. we'll take 176 and we'll take the victory <laughs> over. Central Control, X Keys, um, some Danish folk. Uh, who else did we have? I'm in media. No, yes. he didn't make no, it. No, he didn't make it. He didn't make so, it. Um, yeah. 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 So if anybody wants to challenge, uh, challenge me in polling for next, next year, <laughs> let me know. Because I'm looking for, some, looking for some challenge. Fair enough. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Fair there enough. Oh, we've got some hands up in the crowd. Cool. <laughs> we did, yeah, we did have to cram in a bit of speed bowling at the end. So we didn't get a full, full game of speed bowling. No. So there are claims that other people won at speed bowling and other people won at regular bowling, but... <laughs> We didn't have a full uh, sample size for the, for the entire game of speed bowling, I can't so can't claim, really... I can't yeah. claim wins anywhere. So I was under the impression, this being my first speed bowling, I was under the impression that you just speed bowled from the starts. Bowled? Yes. Bowled? Yeah, sure. Speed bowled from the start. So I just went out there and put it straight in the gutter as fast as I could. Yeah, it was kind of strange. And then I got just sort of yelled at mm -hmm. like I was doing it wrong. Anyway, yeah. all right. It is what it is. It is what it is. You hey, so So... I wonder whether, yeah, let's now have a look at something that I've been playing with at the show. So, Yuan, a company that we work with that do capture cards, have a pretty cool card called the SC750NI HDMI 2.1. This thing can do 8K60 capture. Uh, not that there's any cameras that we know of that will do that in the first place, but the Panasonic GH6 recently, in the last couple of months, released a firmware update that gives you access to 4K 120 HDMI live output. We tested it at the show because I hadn't gotten my hands on the card yet, so we thought we would do it right at the show, and there it is, running at 4K 120 in slow-mo. Here we go. Solid effort right there, right? Too right. Um, yeah, so as far as I know, that might be one of the first 4K 120 live captures, certainly into vMix. So there you go. Um, if you're interested, yeah, check out that hardware, check out Yuan, check out Panasonic. Yeah. There you wow, go. well done. <laughs> the crowd the goes The crowd mild. is loving it. Yeah. All one of them. <laughs> Can't get enough. Well, hey, there we go. The crowd can. <laughs> Great job, producer. <laughs> What's up next on this amazing show? Uh, I would say we're up to probably the the most important thing of the show being vMix 27. So we've got our alpha that we've been demonstrating and I'm going to hand it over to the guy in head of development, 
<laughs> and also the CEO, Mr. Martin Sinclair. <laughs> okay. Am I supposed to do anything looking. here? Is that it? I'll just, I'll just sit you here. You just smile and nod. Um, so yeah, so what we showcased uh, this year at the uh, IBC 2023 is vMix 27. It's currently in alpha, sort of in an early beta. It's not yet released, um, but we'll showcase some of the major new features there. And the number one new feature is Zoom integration. This means that you can connect to a Zoom meeting and you can bring in each individual participant as its own dedicated input in vMix with video and audio. And then vMix can send out its output. You can choose from any of the four outputs in 4K and Pro, and then it'll automatically send a mix minus that'll exclude all of the Zoom audio. So basically all of the functionality that you've seen in vMix call will now allow you to bring in Zoom calls directly into vMix. And we'll also have with that functionality support for the Zoom chat. So you'll be able to bring that into vMix social, so you'll be able to interact with all of the uh, participants in Zoom. So that's the first major new feature that we're announcing this year uh, for vMix. 27. The next big new feature is something we've been wanting to do for a long time and it's a brand new layer designer. So this brings all of the design controls that you might be familiar with when you're creating a GT title and it brings them to layer in the same interface. So if you go to the layers tab in inputs now, in 27 you'll be able to adjust uh, the layers, resize them, position them in pixels, uh, crop them and also adjust the borders and everything like that directly from this and you can snap of course, snap at each of the layers if you want to align them to uh, make sure they're the same size or they're lined up horizontally or vertically. That's all there in the new layer designer in uh, vMix uh, 27. Um, and then uh, we also have a few other other new features, but the main one that we're actually using on this live show today is AV1 support. And I think, uh, Heath, can you confirm it's still a red light on the stream? It's still a red light. So we are streaming today at 3 megabits per second, uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second, 3 megabit AV1 to YouTube. So this is basically below recommended amounts, even for AV1, but it's all we could afford <laughs> with our internet okay, here. It's 80,000 euros for uh, internet connection. <laughs> so it's quite expensive here. So we've done three megabit. It seems to be going all right. We've got a five megabit connection. So we've got that uh, headroom there. Too, as well. Um, there. So hopefully this all works out, but you can look at this stream right now. If you're watching us live, you will see the AV1 quality. Um, look at, if look if at you the want quality. to do some wow. fast movements, they can see whether it looks sharp or not at 1080p. Us. If you're watching us yeah. after the fact, we're going to upload a higher go. quality um, recording on YouTube, so you won't be able to see the AV1 quality there. But anyway, that's, that's coming up in uh, vMix 27. We've also added as well, because the key requirement for AV1 is hardware encoding, just because so, it's so resource intensive. So we have support for the 4000 series GeForce cards from NVIDIA um, using their NVN hardware encoder. We're also adding support for the new Intel Arc um, if that's what you want to do. So there's AV1 support for that. That'll also support newer um, Intel graphics laptops as they come out. The current Iris ones don't support it, but the newer ones should in the future. Um, so that's all in there, going to be built into vMix 27. But we also added, because there's a lot of people out there with 2000, 3000 series graphics cards, and they work just great with vMix. So we've also added HEVC support for streaming. Um, and, and also, just to be aware that the AV1 and HEVC is currently only supported by YouTube, since they have automatic transcoding in the cloud of the stream, uh, because uh, AV1 is not quite there for all, you know, viewers on, you know, Apple and Chrome, and I believe Chrome can already do AV1 decode support, but it's for all the browsers to catch up with the streams, so it's really handy with YouTube. They'll take the AV1 or the HEVC, and they will compress it to whatever format they're going to send out to the viewers automatically. But we're hoping to see more support for AV1 and HEVC from other streaming providers out there. It's all going to be all ready to go in, in the vMix side of things. It's using the new enhanced RTMP uh, standard. So as more and more people adopt that, then you'll just be able to select from the drop-down in vMix either AV1 or HEVC. 
And last but not least, there's a few other uh, tweaks that are going to be there in vMix 27. We're experimenting with uh, expanding the external outputs to four. Uh, but you'll need the, the right hardware to be able to do that reliably. We're adding the feature in vMix and we're sort of just trusting users to, f to find the right specs and the right systems to do that. But at least vMix will be ready to expand now. External output to capture cards up to four. You can also use those up to three of those four outputs for three independent streams if that's your thing. Um, so there's, a, there's that is going to be in there as well. And there's a few other tweaks out there. We've got the Stream Deck Plus support, which we're also using here today at the... Uh, and 150 more shortcuts. There's a whole lot of things there. So when we release the beta, we're hoping over the next couple of months, uh, then you will see all of, the, all of the extra new features. But anyway, the three main, three main ones are AV1 support, uh, the layer designer, and Zoom in vMix 27. And um, also, I guess, a reminder now that we do have the live chat if you're watching us live. So if you have any questions uh, at, at, at some point in the show, everybody's we, question. Will, we will jump to the Q&A part of the show at some point and answer all your questions. But for now, I'll switch it back to Heath. Okay. Back to you yeah, in the great. studio. Yeah, yeah. Seamless. Cool. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> great production work there. Wasn't it? Yes. I, I literally just stood there. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I just sat here, so. Anyway. We did great. How about some Q&A? Is that what we've got next? Uh, do you want to talk about what you found? Uh, what I've found at IBC, well, I haven't really done much walking around, but... Um, there's um, an okay pizza place just here. <laughs> um, the bathrooms that are next to the pizza place are probably the best ones here um, if you are coming to the Rye. Um, what else? I can talk about a couple the of The coffee cameras. van out the front, the one with the combi van that was just outside of Hall. How's that? Three or four. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Okay. Yeah, and there wasn't right. much of a lineup. So uh, those are my three main takeaways from IBC this year. Uh, I, did, I did hear through the grapevine that the Blackmagic Simpty 2110 boxes and cards have shipped or or not allegedly so but they have but so they we're excited to grab one of those and check mm. them out yep. they should work but we'll wait and see and uh when we have one in hand if we have one in hand at some point yeah uh so that's pretty cool mm. from me so uh, i'm always interested in the cameras that are being put out so um dream chip have a pretty cool camera that can do high frame rates as well kind of like the media edge one that i've been uh, working with those guys on that does uh 240 fps uh, 1080p and so these guys can do basically the same thing it's a similar box camera format and we're really keen to work with them so i've gone and had a good chat with them it looks pretty promising that they'll be able to get that working in vmix so stay tuned for that and canon have put out a brand new ptz camera as well it's the crn 100 so it's the bottom like entry level ptz camera it's got the same sensor as the n300 and maybe this i think it's just the n300 i think they're similar uh, at a better price point, so something to look out for. It's it's good lenses, obviously, and therefore uh, and and good pro image processing. So something to be thinking about. They're the ones that I'm pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty excited by. Yep. All right, let's have a look at social. Oh, <laughs> an Obsbot. There you go. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. So I asked the guys at Obsbot to come over to um, to our booth and bring their brand new Tail Air Cam. So the Tail Air is a tiny little PTZ webcam. So I thought, hey, let's just bring it over and test it out. So they brought it over, we hooked it up. It's got a little power adapter so you can do power over ethernet. We've got a power over ethernet network here. So we were able to plug it straight in, get it onto our network. And it's a tiny little NDI HX3 webcam that just works. Uh, PTZ controls are still not functional, but they tell us that they will be upon release. So fingers crossed on that. However, it's also a USB webcam, so you can plug it in that way and use UVC controls like you can with like our Insta360 link that's in our show. So um, yeah, just like that one that's pointing out at us, yes. Um, so yeah. Uh, the UVC controls already work. Uh, one thing that hasn't been fixed on the cameras is they're currently stuck in mirror mode. And so all of our UVC controls are set up for that way. And so as soon as they flip it, we're not sure whether it's going to flip our controls. We'll find that out when they release the camera to us, which shouldn't be too long. 
So, yeah, that's cool. Cool. You want to go to social? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Do you want to answer social comments, Martin? I can fire him in. Did you want to well, come? I can, I can step away. No. No? No? Okay, sorry. I'm not allowed to. Are there still mouse pads left? If so, please give one to Sasha, Streamverse, so it can find its way to Austria. <laughs> He's already, already got done. It. He's already. already done. Do you want it? Is it is no. done? I can confirm. Can confirm. Oh, there we go. I can confirm. I already did it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Sasha. Now, actually, speaking of which, everyone that's watching, we have a few of every single mouse pad design mm -hmm. in a cupboard, and I mean a few, just like three or four of each design left. We had four designs, one for each day. Each design left. We should come up with like a secret code or something? We could probably, we'll do a giveaway next month and we'll send them out. A giveaway next month? Yeah. Sounds good. Why not? Sounds good. All right, we will let you know. You can know. take them home, because I've already got enough. Well, you can so, take them. so do we have a question that we can ask now to go in to Facebook? I don't know, maybe. I, I don't know. I can't think up the top of my head right now. It is the brain, end of IBC. My brain stopped working. It is the end of IBC. On All right. Um, Sunday. Um, how sore are your feet? That's the question. No. That's going to be a strange thing it's to It's going to have interesting answers. Yeah. How okay. sore are your feet? That's I'd, the question. <laughs> we'll, we'll come up with something slightly better than that. How's that sound? <laughs> All right, thank you for adding Zoom support in vMix Social. I requested it in feature requests, but nobody gave it a plus one, lol. What made you decide? Um, uh, the you Zoom- You have to change the character limit, producer. The Zoom integration um, has been in hot demand from a lot of people. Adding it to social was a natural progression to, uh, because it was exposed in the API. So we were able to get to those comments. And so why not put it into social? Basically, that's yeah, why it We're pretty keen to have the comments uh, mm -hmm. as a part of the whole workflow. So you'll be able to add uh, Zoom comments, which is pretty cool if you've got a Q&A or something happening. You can also pick those comments up in data sources. That is correct. How do we, I don't, I'm not really good at, you know, what is it? lengthening. <laughs> Enjoying the rugby so far. Are you? I don't know. Neither do I. Well, what rugby are we talking about? <laughs> I think, isn't the rugby union on, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I enjoy the rugby league, but uh, not so much the rugby union. Um, mm. So I, I'm going to say maybe. How much more economical on bitrate is AV1 Martin roughly? Martin can answer that. Martin, you got a thought on that one? Yeah, take can my let microphone. People know? Well, they say double is the... About double. Double? Yeah? About 60%. 60% of the time, it's double every time. There you go. <laughs> so half, do you mean? I mean like 60% of bit rate. 60% yeah. of bit rate, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Of two, yeah, yep. yep. So that's roughly guesstimates. But what it means is we're doing a 1080p stream and typically we would only do a 720. So uh, on the same sort of internet. So there you go. But that's it for social. <laughs> All right. Maybe okay. We, all right. Our maybe producer is struggling using uh, using VMix. So. Yeah. When is the beta? Uh, okay. So when is the beta going to be available? We don't know. And this is because uh, because we're integrating a Zoom API. Everything needs to be box ticked by them as well. We've got to make sure that everything works perfectly um, between us. And so we are limited to how quickly Zoom can review stuff and how quickly we can respond to stuff. So it's a bit of an unknown. If, so if, be a free upgrade for those on 26? Okay, is it going to be a free upgrade for those on 26? Do you want to answer some questions? Did you want to answer a couple of questions? Sure. Okay, I can jump sort in. the circle. There we go. Let me, everybody's trying to get off. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do I? Um, is all it right. Be a free upgrade? The, well, uh, so uh, vMix 27 is a $60 upgrade if you've purchased uh, vMix in the last 12 months of when it, whenever it gets released, you get 12 months of free updates. So if the, fi if the final release version comes out in January next year, which is usually our, our time frame after a, a couple of months of beta, then if you purchased in 
2023. It's a free upgrade, otherwise for everyone else, it's a $60 upgrade. Um, as for how uh, Zoom's gonna be positioned in our products, we, we don't know just yet. Uh, depends on the whole uh, approval process and everything, but we're gonna guess that you will at least be able to bring in one Zoom input in the HD edition or above, and then you'll get more and more um, inputs as you go up the different versions for 4K and Pro. Uh, now, uh, it's we may just make it open-ended in VMIX Pro, but then it'll be with great power comes great responsibility. Then uh, Zoom is not just going to magically, because each participant can do up to HD, your internet bandwidth is not going to magically be able to bring in 50 participants. Uh, that's why we sort of max out VMIX call at eight, because we found that that's sort of a real world maximum under even good network conditions to get callers in. But we'll just leave that up up to the users to decide. Um, Zoom uh, has a bandwidth uh, allocation of up to 30 megabits per second for a call. So you can sort of allocate HD or SD. You can select each Zoom participant what resolution you want each one in to fit them all within that. So if they're all like 720p or SD, you could theoretically bring in 30 of them and use that 30 megabit per meeting um, bandwidth allocation. but. Uh, it'll, it's all entirely controlled by Zoom. So if you're familiar with Zoom and managing the bandwidth for that, especially if you're using products like Zoom ISO to bring in separate NDI feeds, and you're already well familiar with the bandwidth requirements for that, then vMix will be exactly the same, just with the benefit of not having to have that extra overhead of NDI on your network, because it'll all be done directly in vMix. Um, so what else is there? When will we add more dynamic inputs. So we currently have four. What I would suggest is go on our forums, uh, forums.vmix.com, and submit a feature request. And what we recommend you do is describe your use case. What do you need, you know, 8, 16, 430 dynamic inputs for? If you can explain that use case, it usually helps other people that are reading the forums as well to go, oh yeah, that's something I would really like to use as well. And they're more likely to do a plus one. So instead of asking, hey, I want more dynamic inputs, give us a story about what you've been doing on your production and how you would like to see that implemented and that will really help us think about it. So, uh, and then we've got, will SRT support AV1? So that's a, a great question actually because uh, we've implemented AV1 and HEVC for the streaming RTMP using enhanced RTMP and that's currently supported only by YouTube at this stage. Uh, AV1 still has a few boxes to tick standards wise so it can properly work in SRT. Um, for those that are really technical it's the MPEG transport stream standard. Each new compression that comes along has to define how their particular video format is stored in the transport stream and that I believe is still in draft phase and so once that gets finalized and implemented in programs like FFmpeg then SRT you'll see get more and more adoption of AV1 but it was more crucial for us to implement AV1 for streaming um, just because that that's what people are going to be wanting to use in the streaming world, whereas SRT already has HEVC support. So you can already have the more bandwidth efficient encoding already in vMix 26 in SRT by using HEVC instead. Um, and we've got uh, any updates regarding Windows 11. We just uh, published a new video on our YouTube channel that talks about how to optimize the audio in Windows 11. That's the biggest uh, challenge that we've come across, that there's all these built-in audio effects now in Windows 11 that can sort of interrupt. Uh, they're more designed for noise cancellation for video conferencing, not so much for high quality audio in a live production. So Heath's put a video together on how to disable all of that functionality so you can get clean audio in and out of uh, vMix, so you can check that out on YouTube. But otherwise, yeah, Windows 11 is fine to use for vMix. Um, I'd use Windows 10 if you've got the option. Right yeah. yeah, we're streaming from Windows 11 right now. Uh, we turned off all the audio, we followed Heath's recommendations, and we cleaned up the laptop, uh, and it seems to be running all right, so. Uh, but if you have the option, if Windows 10 is, is, if it's is an, an option, option for yeah. you, I would go with Windows 10, but that's a. Uh, so this is not a vMix thing, Tim's by the way. Cents. This is just our experiences with each operating system in general, how reliable they are, how easy to use they are. We just generally have found Windows 10 to be a better option, but vMix will work on each. It's just uh, pick which one works for you and works with your devices and hardware. And as all we, we always say in uh, live streaming, the three rules are test, test, and test. Whatever platform you use, if you test it prior to the show and it all works, then you're gonna have a good time. Um, so, uh, and this is, 
$60 update for a $1,200 software. Okay, greatest policy in the whole software market on the whole earth. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we thought that we really were just going to cover the cost of each update. I mean, whatever it costs us to produce these new features, that's what the update costs, and we think that makes sense for everybody. Uh, so, and if you want to upgrade between editions, you've got 4K and you're like, oh, I really want the new whatever is going to be released in the Pro. Well, you just pay the difference in price, so you're never out of pocket that way as well. And you get well. 12 months worth of free updates as well. Oh, yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, free $60 worth of 12 months of free updates if you upgrade your edition from basic HD to HD to 4K to Pro. Any of those updates include a free $60, uh, 12 months of free updates. Uh, and last question, we need more overlays. Is it possible soon? Um, as I've said, uh, go to our forums, find the existing feature request and explain your use case. What are you doing today that requires more than four overlays? Remember that you can use multi-view or, or the layers functionality in vMix to combine a whole bunch of layers together and then use that as a single overlay channel. So that's a great way that you can combine all your assets together and free up your overlay channels for other stuff as well. But even when using that feature, if you find you're running into an overlay limit, explain uh, what you're doing. It would be great to hear all these uh, really in-depth productions and how they're all working. Um, it's, it's fascinating to hear some of the amazing use cases of vMix out there, especially that we hear here at trade shows like IBC. So, so yeah, well, okay. That's, that's it from us at IBC 2023. Uh, I hope, hope you've in, enjoyed watching uh, and we'll, or Heath or Tim will see you uh, next month on the vMix Fun Time Live Show. Any final words, Tim? No, not at all. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for tuning in. Um, drop us a comment if you're watching us on YouTube after the fact. Um, we'll work out a way to get rid of some mouse pads. Don't listen to Heath. We, we, we don't care about sore feet. It's going to be a weird way to do a, uh, a, a poll on our Facebook page. But we'll work something out. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll give away some of the mouse pads. Because I understand if you can't be here, you don't get mouse pads and various other things or see what the, the beta looks like. So we'll try and um, give some away at some point. And uh, so yeah, keep your eye out for that. But thanks for watching. And um, as always, we will uh, stream you later. Stream you later. <laughs>